Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about operator preferences in Pega and what are its uses. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell notification. Let's get started with the topic. There is something called as operator preferences in Pega which is very useful for operator specific records. So let's discuss what are those uses. Once you are in Design Studio, you can see your operator ID over here based on the orientation you have selected. Suppose uh, here it is like this. Once you click on your operator record, you can see some preferences option over here. Click on that preferences option. So this is apply default preferences. It's a hyperlink where you can see all the default preferences will be applied. Suppose you have a application skin rule and but you want uh, some operator specific skin rule and you want to apply those and check that you can go here and you can select the skin rule that uh, you are looking for for example your application is carrying one application one skin rule and you are doing some changes to other other skin rule and you want to see uh, how those changes are uh, happening so for that no need to wait until uh, some developer checkouts or some branches something like that, uh, just if you go here and select the respective skin rule and override the default application skin for the regular, for that uh, respect to operator ID, that skin rule is applicable. You do a save as on the rule. So when you do that save as, if you want that uh, rule to be auto checkout, you can select this option. Otherwise, you can unselect it to make it a locked version. And this one, like uh, swim lane settings. You know that uh, in flow we have uh, different flows that we configure. Normally we see in a landscape mode. But if you want to change that orientation to portrait, you can give this. This will be applicable for all the flows that you create after this change uh, has been done. This is project management, this user ID. This is nothing but your operator ID, you can give it. This is Dev Studio Navigation. If you want to include the tabs in Dev Studio, you can give this so that uh, all the documents that you open, it will be opened in different different tabs. Like if you select some 10 to 15 rules and you search that, all those Dev Studio navigation will be opened in separate separate tabs. And this Dev Studio localization, if you miss this localization concept, you check out my videos. There are two videos. Don't miss that. It's very useful and important uh, videos. So if you want to ignore those uh, local settings, normally we have local settings under our operator ready. If you want to ignore those, you can select this option. And this is enable diagnostic features. Suppose you are doing some trace, you, you can see only PY default or some rules specific to your application only you can uh, view it. But if you want to see any rules that start with PZ, then tracer won't give those until you just check in this option click save and login and log out then in the tracer you can see all the pizza rules i'm just again telling you this is the local default local settings localization that i have spoken about regarding this option hope you have learned a new concept in a very short video thank you thanks for watching this video Please subscribe, share, like and comment.